Hi, Julian, it's your father. Pick up the phone. Are you there? Can you hear me? It's time for you to grow up and give up this whole rock star thing. Why? This is ridiculous, this thing. Stop it already. Life isn't about the internet. All right, so what do you want to do? Okay, goodbye. Today we spent driving, driving. We, <laughs> we drove a lot today. That's what. That's honestly what most of this is thus far. Tomorrow's show is uh, at Tavern Ninety Nine in Atlanta, which is apparently a very cool bar. This man, Christopher Kowal, has rented the space. So we'll see. It's the first one. I mean, it's it's the first one of the tour. It's going to be interesting. It's it's always these things are always a total mixed bag. So we'll see what. Uh, Sometimes they're amazing, sometimes they're totally bizarre. I think a lot of that just depends on the person who's putting it together. A young lady told me <laughs> that I had to come here tonight. Oh my God. She said, you have to go see Julie. And then right. she said, he's kind of crazy, but he's all right. <laughs> you know, I, I got on his email list and he said, hey, we're gonna have these house concerts. I said, all right, well, I'm gonna apply for one. So I just decided to invite some folks out and, uh, and listen to Julian play. World is born and changed on me. Destroyed my whole philosophy. My feather was strong, it never showed. One level brick was all it took. I took her to Birmingham to see Jimmy Cullum as a surprise. Julian was the opening act. We had never heard of Julian before, and Julian got up there. Within three seconds, we were just, wow, this guy is amazing. And uh, we went back to the hotel that night, and we ordered a bottle of champagne, and we sat in the room, and instead of listening to Jamie Cullen, we listened to Julian Villard, and, and drank our champagne, and enjoyed our night, and ever since then, uh, you know, David listens to two things. He listens to baseball podcast and Julian Villard. This is our third Cracker Barrel in three days. It may look like it's all the same because all these Cracker Barrels are designed exactly the same, and wearing the same coats, but we've actually come in a Cracker Barrel three separate times. When some people grow up on the Upper West Side, they are uh, a bubble boy. <laughs> His parents used to just place him in a large plastic bubble and roll him down 7th Avenue. I think, I think what you're trying to say, Ryan, is that I don't drive. <laughs> Julian doesn't drive. It just doesn't seem that necessary to drive. I got, I got, I got, I got Ryan. Luckily, I'm a driving machine. <laughs> yeah. I know Julian. I listen to his music. I'm trying to share him with other people. And what more intimate way can you do it than with a house concert? It's, it's, it's small. He actually talks to us, uh, mingles with the people during the sets. During and the between last sets. Um, when we did it the last time, this is our second concert, he was incredible and I can't tell you how many people, you know, hadn't heard of him before and it was kind of neat to be able to, you know, share with our friends yeah, kind of music to, that we like. Trying to grow his fan base here in Jacksonville. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Julian Villar. Intimate, you know, like we were at a concert the other day and we thought this would be so much neater if it was an intimate setting. You know, it just it makes it more unique, it makes it more special. You feel like you're part of the music and you're part of the show, you're not just a spectator. to throw a good party. It's Julian Villard night. That's right. JV night. It's Mr. Sa is it Saturday? It's Mr. Saturday. Mr. Sa night.
Flamingo. This is like, as soon as I got off stage, these two girls, like the first thing they run up and they're like, you have to play piano and she has to sing. You didn't catch that? I was just right like, now? but then again, you know, we're in a house. It's like, that's what's yeah. gonna happen, you know? And we rock it out. We sing a lot of songs. We okay. Rock it out. Okay. We just have a girl's night. Yeah. So, so we're gonna have a cup of glass of wine, but she's gonna wear your cape. Okay. We're gonna come and we're gonna, an introvert? Yeah. She's gonna take your microphone. I'm gonna play the piano with you over your shoulder and we're gonna rock it out. Okay. okay. I, 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 I am, I am, I'm. Can you do a shot or a couple? These are people's homes we're going into, literally their homes. It's kind of crazy. And also, especially the scope of the show that we're going to put on. The scope of the show. It's not just like, hey, I'm just some dude with my acoustic guitar. Like, we're putting on a full show. I wear a cape. I have boxing gloves. It's pretty, it's pretty full on. Keep playing the piano. So talented. You can end up like this guy one day, so okay? You know what? Let me give you some really good advice for me. Don't end up like this guy. No. But you need to keep playing the piano, all right? You can keep playing the piano. Absolutely, but surpass this. So this is who we're playing for. And whoops. So I've also asked them to s all to send me pictures of their living rooms and stuff. It's so, like this is where we're playing. I guess out in his backyard, somewhere here. My name is Ralph Thomas Brown, and we're in Lutz, Florida, which is a suburb north of Tampa. Uh, I've been following Julian for the last probably year and a half or two years, uh, and we just thought the music was fabulous. And when the when the whole opportunity and the concept of the house concerts came up. I just, uh, I had to, I thought I had to be involved in that. If we could get a shot at doing that, I thought that'd be a very cool thing, you know? I'm not gonna bite you, girl, you know. No, I'm not like that girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There kind of is no bad house concert, like really, relatively. Like, it's not like a club gig where you can have bad club gigs. The house concert, like, is what it is. So within the context of what it is, they're really on, like most of the time, if, you, if, I do, if I do my job right, it's great. Again, thank you so much to the Brown family and all you guys for coming out here in Lutz, Florida. It's really awesome that you can uh, help us do this and we can do this with you. Please, I got CDs for sale. If you want one, come find me. Let's have some drinks, hang out, it's Sunday night. Yeah. Julia Blood, everybody. It's like all that, that that's important to me is the outlet. And you know, I've proven a lot of the things that I wanted to prove. I do think like the whole rock star thing is a young man's game. I've lost my, I've lost. I used to really believe in the whole idea of like getting in a car and touring and going to, see, and going to play shows and play for people and then Somewhere along the way, I think it became like a, it became like a job, basically. So it always it's always really like startling and refreshing when you see people who get this tremendous experience out of what you're doing. 